Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown from the How To Cameron channel and today I have to tackle one of the biggest issues I face in my life on a day to day basis. Girls blocking me. This makes me so sad guys. I'm crying right now as I film this video. I am sick and tired of being blocked by girls and being out of their flipping league to be quite frank with honest. This is something that triggers me so much. This video is satirical, by the way, before everyone thinks I'm a goddamn loser, because I know everyone will. Okay, I genuinely don't care. Something that I love about YouTube is the fact that you can literally search for anything, and you will find it. So, I searched up, why do I keep getting blocked? Which is such a pathetic search term, I imagine. And there are videos that are quite related to that topic. For example, being won over too easy, and why you should never delete or block a woman's number. Hang on a minute, what the hell? That's literally the opposite way around. That's like a that's like a big middle finger on my ass, that is. How dare you suggest that video to me, YouTube, through the search? Well, why would I even consider that? They blocked me. What the flip? Stop making fun of me. How to deal with getting blocked by your crush. Okay. I can relate with this video heavily. Can we have a picture of an elephant to show heavy? What? That's a picture of Fat John Studios? That's not fair. Let's watch this video. This video is specific to me. I've been blocked by many crushes and it makes me sad, guys. It's so sad. Right, this guy looks quite friendly straight at the back. Looking at his uh, work environment, i.e. his room, uh, I can see why this guy is a virgin. <laughs> guys, it's a joke, okay? He probably isn't. Calm down, I'm not a hateful guy, but I can relate with him. Hey, Aplaya, did you recently get blocked by your crush and now you're struggling to figure out what to do about it? Should you message them again? Should you leave them alone? The answer isn't always that clear, but don't. I'm just gonna say, someone blocks you, maybe you should leave them alone. <laughs> maybe that is the best thing to do. I don't know, okay? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to deal with getting blocked by your crush and how to move forward. For those of you that no, are new here, my name I is don't Josh, want to and every single forward. Monday through Friday, I, I want make to videos move sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. Click the subscribe button and make sure to tap the bell icon oh, wow. so you can get- What a lovely, insightful description. Helping teens and young adults learn how to be their best selves. God bless Josh. Hang, no way. No way this video was made that day. I am shocked. Nah, that is weird. Hey! But I think uh, how to Cameron definitely needs to take this as a warning. Today's not going good. Today's not going good today. I broke up with my girlfriend. And now, there has been a warning set against me. Ah! Let's blast the job. Guys, it was, a, it was a great decision. <laughs> what are you even doing? So let's talk about getting blocked. Number one, it sucks. It's a sucky feeling to of go through. To know that you can't communicate you with this person, you. and even worse, to know that they don't want to communicate back with you. I think what happens with anyone that gets blocked is that it only fuels your desire to talk to them more. You want to know why they blocked you, what you did wrong, and what you can do to fix the situation. A lot of times, when people get blocked, it usually catches them off guard. They end up sitting there thinking, what did I say, and what did I do that caused them to react this way? And in that thought process, your mind might be telling you just create a fake account and message them from there and ask why they blocked your other account. But I think that's a really bad idea. Yeah, uh, so I shouldn't make an account on Instagram called How to Cameron 2 and then message them. That would not be epic. I need to actually, if I was going to fake the account, maybe I shouldn't call it How to Cameron. Okay, right, here's some advice from Cameron Brown from Out the Cameron here. I just want to mention this, right? If someone blocks you, you should take that as a compliment because the fact that they've gone out of their way to block you. But on a real note, if someone goes out of their way to block you, they clearly do, like, have deeper feelings for you, especially if you've talked to them in the past. If you've been talking to someone for quite a while, then they block you. It's a big deal. Like, there's a reason why they've blocked you, a deep reason. If they blocked you for whatever reason, you weirded them out, you talked to them too much, they don't want you seeing their posts, whatever the reason may be, creating a new account isn't going to help convince them to unblock you. It's only going to make them want to double down and block you again. Instead, I think there are three positive ways twice. to react to a situation like this. Epic and the first one being talk to the people that are closest to them. Talk to their friends. What was if they have no friends? What do you do? Just talk to them? No. Talk to their mum? Yo, wag one, mum. You know your daughter, why does she not want this? It's long. Find out what's going on. Try to find out why they blocked you. In most cases, people's friends know what's up. So if you can talk to their friends and ask Again, them, hey, why did this person block me? They might just be friends. honest with you and tell you, you what am them I out, meant said to this do? Thing to them. Or they just don't want anything to do with you. They don't like you and they don't want to give the wrong what? impression. What? How can you not like me? Hey! 
Now, on a real note, okay, not to sound cocky, but I feel like I'm a nice guy and I do not see why people do not like me. No, in real life, I am the nicest man on planet Earth. <laughs> I don't mind being blocked by someone who's in my league, okay, that's completely fine. But if they're out of my league, i.e. they're uglier than me, how dare you, okay? <laughs> I'm so mean. This video is a joke, okay? People are gonna think this is a digger, aren't they? Ugh, great. It's not a dig at anyone. I mean, it is, because I mentioned the no friends thing. It's not a dig, but like, it could be a dig if you go out of your way to think it's a dig. But honestly, I don't care. This is a fun video, that's the point of it, okay? It's self-deprecation, uh, not self-deprivation. That's a dumb way of saying it, Cameron. God bless. Now, I'm not saying what the friends have to say is the end-all be-all. Sometimes friends inject their own attitude and biases into the equation and might try to push you away from your crush that way. If someone had a crush on my husband, Fat John Studios, and then I got Fat John Studios to block the person who was trying to get into Fat John Studios boxes. If they asked me as Fat John Studios' best friend, why did Fat John Studios block you? I would say because... He doesn't like it. I, I would say something really negative to make sure that they run away. I would not say the truth. The truth being me tricking and manipulating Fat John Studios to block said person. I, I relate with that personally on a, on a spiritual level. So, if you don't really want to go through the friends, then go to the person directly. Talking to them in person is the best way to really kind of resolve getting blocked by them. Asking them, hey, what's up? What did I do? What did I'm not going to lie. If someone blocks me and I go up to them in person, even if they live close to me, I am such a humongous man, they're going to think I'm a threat. Pepper Cameron is going to come here with his massive frame. Humongous frame. The poor p girl, my crush... She's going to be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And I'm going to be like, hello, how are you doing? And she's going to be like, guarding, getting into guard. I'm, I'm going to get into guard as well, because I'm like, wait a minute. She's trying to box me with a flip. And she's going to think I'm fighting her. What the hell? Now, for some of you, talking to them in person might not feel like a realistic option. Maybe you never see them in your school. Maybe they don't even go to your school. So what do you do in those situations? Well, throw a bomb at the house. Wait, sorry, wrong, wrong video. If that person blocked you and you have no other way of communicating with them, you need to move on. I know, it doesn't sound what? ideal. You want them to unblock you. You don't want to just walk away. What? But sometimes that's the only option you have. No! Giving them space, letting them work through whatever they're feeling, letting them go through that experience no! is the best option. Sometimes time does heal wounds. Rats. They may unblock you on their own, or they may start to interact with you in other ways and then eventually unblock you from there. Please. So let's say you tried talking to their friends, they didn't unblock you. You tried talking to them, they still didn't unblock you. You tried giving them space and letting them unblock you on their own, that didn't work out either. Poison their food, dab on their ears, that's what I say. No, that's, that's murder, can't advocate that. So now what do you do? How do you get Guys, them to unblock you? Guys, it was a long running joke. You didn't do anything wrong in this equation, so why did they block you in the first place? What do you do about it? Hold on, hold on. The third point here then has to be self-reflection. I know you feel like you didn't do anything wrong and there was no reason what? for them to block you, but Clearly something happened that triggered that way. behavior in them. Maybe you said something How? you didn't realize it. No. Maybe you were talking to them in a way that made them feel uncomfortable. No, I've you never need to go back and I'll look at the conversation. Like look at what was said, look at what happened, and truly reflect on it from a non-biased perspective and really see what you can do about it. Sometimes we don't realize what? that maybe we were being too annoying or maybe we were just too maybe awkward in the conversation. Maybe you said something weird. No, asked I've never said question, anything with my life. You just Why would that have personal happened? enough and they felt That's like this conversation element, is man. going nowhere and blocking you was the only option they saw fit. If I'm sorry, end, if you think blocking someone's the best option, you're so petty. <laughs> there's no way to redeem yourself and get unblocked. You have to accept it for what it is and do your best to prevent that from happening in future relationships and future conversations with other people. Yes, I get where goes. you're coming from. Getting blocked no. really sucks and your options are really limited. Yeah, especially because I'm such the a nice guy. I think you can do to deal with them. But now I want to know, what do you think? Have you ever been blocked by someone before? Yes. Why did they block you? Leave your times. comments down below and we'll talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the why, thumbs up though. button. That's why I watched the Video. And here. If you want to keep she learning still more has about the blocked. do's and don'ts Josh. of texting, tap on the playlist right Josh. there on your screen no. to see my other videos Help. in this series teaching Josh, you no. how to be a better texter, how to what do I more, do? and how to make that free-flowing conversation no. a whole lot easier over Fact, There isn't any free-flowing conversation. She has been blocked. What am I going to do? Free flowing? Nah. On that note, guys, no. I'll catch you in the Josh, next video. Josh, I need your help. As always, no. No. love and no. peace. No. 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 What, what do you mean an ad? How are you going to give me an ad? Josh, you didn't help me at all.
Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to cry now for 200 hours. Smash a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. I just want to mention this video is not a dig at anyone. I'm not even blocked by anyone deep, I promise. <laughs> and if you think it's that girl who I made videos on prior, she actually um, unblocked me. So technically, this video is not a dig at her either. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and also goodbye.